So I want to welcome everybody. I know many people uh, traveled uh, from the other side of the pond, as we say, from Ireland, uh, to be here. And I really appreciate the efforts uh, that many of you made. Uh, I especially want to uh, thank uh, our Taoiseach, uh, Prime Minister uh, Brian Cowan, for, for taking, the, taking the time out to come here. Um, you know, obviously, he has a, a very, very busy schedule, as you can imagine. Um, Mr. Cowan has come, or uh, Prime Minister Cowan has come here to open our center today after coming from Chicago. And um, he's, he will work with a number of different uh, events uh, with Enterprise Ireland and IDA tomorrow. And then he will very quickly go to Washington to meet with uh, President Obama. So I'm really delighted that he's taken the time to come here because of the importance of innovation and the importance of Silicon Valley is to Ireland. So, so Mayor Reid, thank you very much for your, your kind uh, you know, welcome. Um, I can tell you that the relationship is alive and well. You know, it's a, a quarter of a century relationship. And it, it was very easy for us to decide where to come uh, to set this up. You know, downtown San Jose is a vibrant city. It's where young entrepreneurs want to, want to work, you know, have a, a coffee, do business. And this is the ideal, ideal spot. And we're really uh, pleased to be here. And we're also very pleased with the support that we've got. We've got tremendous support uh, from the councilman, uh, Sam Licardo, and also uh, Nancy Pyle and the team. So we, we really very much appreciate the support here. So, uh, you, you know, you've heard uh, a number of things about, you know, the ITLG, and also you've heard a number of things about the Innovation Center. Um, some of you may not be aware of this, but um, Minister Michal Martin, uh, you know, made a major breakthrough to reach out to the Irish diaspora around the world uh, last year and uh, set up a major event in, in Farmley, which is a major uh, stately home uh, in, in the center of Dublin. Um, we believe that this is a very significant event. Uh, many of our friends here today from, from Silicon Valley may be aware of this, but, you know, there's... Uh, Four and a half million people in, in Southern Ireland, about a million and a half people in Northern Ireland, about six million. However, there are 43 million people in the United States that claim Irish descent, so we've got a lot of friends here. And there's over um, 70, maybe 80 million uh, people are from around the world. So for a very small co country, um, we have a lot of friends around the world. So this move was really reaching out to business leaders and executives um, and uh, executives within Ireland and bring this, uh, uh, you know, or this group together called the Global Irish Network. And one of the key initiatives that came out of that was to support the ITLG. And we very much value the support of uh, Minister Martin in supporting our efforts here. Um, we've worked hard for the last three years, uh, but we very much value the, the support that Michal Martin has, not just from Farmley, but Michal Martin was here at the very start to launch the ITLG back in, to, back in 2007. Um, in addition to that, um, I'd also like to, to pay note to um, Ambassador Collins and also Consul General um, Staunton. Um, you know, when you live outside of Ireland, you live in another area, uh, the importance of a consulate, the importance of, uh, of that relationship is hugely important. And I know, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, tough uh, decisions to be made in terms of, of uh, cost cutting, etc. Well, I can tell you the outpost here in Silicon Valley, the outpost here in California is one of the most important outposts in the world. And um, I want to thank the relationship um, of the Consul General, uh, 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 Jerry Staunton, for supporting what we're doing. And please keep it going. Uh, there, there's one last group that we work, we've worked very, very closely with um, is the American Ireland Fund. It's, it's one of the, uh, probably one of the most powerful uh, groups, uh, Irish groups from around the world. And uh, Loretta Glucksman, the chair of the, uh, of the American Ireland Fund, has been very supportive of everything uh, that we've done. And, you know, both ITLG and the American Ireland Fund will work very closely, you know, together on how we can help young Irish companies and create jobs in Ireland, but also create jobs here. Um, so the Irish Innovation Center, you know, what is it? And, you know, we're, we're really about supporting today's ideas, but really helping young entrepreneurs be successful. I think one of the fantastic things that has happened in Silicon Valley is that you've created a, a, a tremendous ecosystem that really is wrapped around the entrepreneur. 
whether it's the VC industry, whether it's the services, the legal services, whether it's the critical mass of the, the center of the world of technology, you know, we want to be part of that. We want to be connected to that. We want to bring entrepreneurs here and we want to create the next Google and the next Intel that are going to have an Irish badge as well. And I think it's going to be good for both, uh, both parts of, uh, of the world. And in terms of both parts of the world, um, probably a little known fact that you might not know is that um, you know, there are quite a number of uh, technology companies that have decided to be in Ireland, but there's a lot of Irish companies that decided to be in the United States. And in the United States, there are over 80,000 uh, US employees employed by Irish companies. Probably a little known fact, but an important fact of the two-way relationship that we have here. So, you know, in terms of, you know, moving forward here, I mean, uh, thank you for being here. It's obviously, um, we're, we're not finished. We were in panic mode when all this is kind of coming about, and a lot of people did a lot of work, and I, you know, I want to thank, uh, you know, some of the team here. Gordon Chihon, who's our uh, new executive director, and Bobby Burns and Kean Hughes and uh, Deirdre O'Neill really played a, a major role pulling all this together and uh, right up to the last minute. So I really want to thank the team for, for doing that. And I also want to recognize the partnerships that we've had. We have a very strong relationship with the IDA. We have a very strong relationship with Enterprise Ireland. And we also have a very strong relationship with uh, Invest Northern Ireland. Um, as part of the ITLG when we set up three years ago, you know, all those parties were all part of what we're doing. And we're here to work together uh, you know, with each of, the, each of the groups here from, a, from an Irish perspective. In addition to that, we formed a relationship, a very important relationship, with uh, both Trinity College and, and UCD, which is known in Ireland as the, um, the, the Innovation Alliance. Uh, you know, two of the top universities uh, in Ireland, in the world, and uh, you know, coming together uh, has really made uh, a, a significant impact in terms of the importance of innovation and the importance of working you know, together. Um, when we had discussions with uh, you know, Professor Lloyd about doing this, it was an obvious choice for us to work very closely with the universities. So um, we are here to work with the universities and work and help young entrepreneurs come out of the universities and create big companies out of the universities here. Um, I'd also like to announce uh, a new relationship uh, you know, today. Um, we have worked with University Limerick and um, uh, University Galway uh, over the course of the last year. And uh, we are now going to formalize a relationship with them where we are going to work to help the Shannon Energy Valley Initiative, which is uh, in the Midwest region in, in, in Ireland. And uh, this is something that we're really excited about uh, as, we, as we move forward. So, um, f you know, finally, um, my partner in crime, we're not in crime, we're working really hard, is, uh, is Tom McHenry. You know, Tom McHenry is no, um, he's no stranger to San Jose, he's no stranger to Ireland, he's no stranger to Kerry. Um, you know, he is a real um, proud Irish-American, Irish and uh, we really value the relationship, and I'm delighted um, that, that Tom is really supporting and guiding us. Uh, he's uh, navigating us through some of the challenges uh, and that we need to deal with, but uh, I really appreciate uh, his support. So I'd like to ask Tom up and give him a little uh, <laughs> gift.